Hey guys welcome back, in this video I am going to showing you how to burn bootloader on new 80 mega 328 chip help of using Arduino Uno. I am not going to show anything new in this, already this content related complete tutorial videos available in YouTube. But I am going to explain what is bootloader and how to burn 80 mega 328 chip so that you can easily understand. What is bootloader? Simply speaking, bootloader is small piece of code executable code in hex format. That resides in the microcontroller's memory. Bootloader in Arduino allows us to program Arduino over serial port using an USB cable. The job of bootloader in Arduino is to accept the code from the computer and place it in the memory of the microcontroller. Guys few days ago I purchased this 380 mega 328 microcontroller on a local electronics shops. This 380 mega 328 chip I am going to use my upcoming project. This 3 Atmel microcontrollers are not possible to use normal programming. That means before you not a burn this new 80 mega 328 chip. You not be a upload any kind of a programming codes. And remember guys before you burn new 80 mega 328 chip. You must be a need any kind of Arduino modules. Like Arduino Uno, Arduino Nano or Arduino Mega. In my case I am used Arduino Uno board. Here you need this working condition 80 mega 328 chip. This 80 mega 328 chip going to burn our new unprogrammed 80 mega 328 chip. Before I test new unprogrammed 80 mega 328 chip and see what happened. Here I replace the working condition 80 mega 328 chip and Set up the unprogrammed new 80 mega 328 chip. And I connect to the PC. Here you can see guys, pin 13 LED not a blink. And I press the reset button, pin 13 LED not a flash. But the same thing you will use working condition 80 mega 328 chip. That means already programmed 80 mega 328 chip on Arduino, see the pin 13 LED is blink. And I press the reset button on Arduino, pin 13 LED also blinked. Then I try to upload a blink without delay code on unprogrammed new 80 mega 328 chip. Here you can see the error message showed in Arduino IDE. And you can see guys this 3 new 80 mega 328 chip is unprogrammed. And this one is programmed 80 mega 328 chip. And this is onboard 80 mega 328 chip. Now follow the steps to burn new unprogrammed 80 mega 328 chip. Following this steps, before you going to burn bootloader in new unprogrammed 80 mega 328 chip, you must be make a breadboard bootloader circuit setup. This bootloader bread board circuit setup you need this components. 222 PF capacitor. 16 MHZ crystal oscillator. 10 kilo resistor. Your unprogrammed new 80 mega 328 chip. And Arduino Uno module. Now time to make the Arduino bootloader circuit. Set up Arduino Uno module. Set up unprogrammed new 80 mega 328 chip. Set up 222 PF capacitor. Set up 16 MHZ crystal oscillator. Set up 10 kilo resistor. Connect unprogrammed new 80 mega 328 chip 20th pin and 7th pin. Connect unprogrammed new 80 mega 328 chip 22 pin and 8th pin. Connect 16 MHZ crystal oscillator on new 80 mega 328 chip 9th and 10th pin. First capacitor first pin connected on new 80 mega 328 chip 9th pin and second capacitor first pin connected on new 80 mega 328 chip 10th pin. Both capacitor and other pins connected to new 80 mega 328 chip 8th pin. 10 kilo resistor connected on new 80 mega 328 chip first pin and 7th pin. Now connect new 80 mega 328 chip 7th pin to Arduino Uno module 5 volts pin. And connect new 80 mega 328 chip 8th pin to Arduino Uno module ground pin. 
Connect new 80 Mega 328 chip 19th pin to Arduino Uno module 13th pin. Connect new 80 Mega 328 chip 18th pin to Arduino Uno module 12th pin. Connect new 80 Mega 328 chip 17th pin to Arduino Uno module 11th pin. And finally connect new 80 Mega 328 chip 1st pin to Arduino Uno module 10th pin. Now our bootloader circuit is ready. Now I am going to set up this bootloader circuit on a breadboard. Here you can see guys the bootloader circuit setup is completed. If you are viewing this project, then you might probably have used Arduino board. There is a high possibility that the 80 Mega 328 microcontroller Arduino Uno might fail after certain time or improper connection. In order to reuse that Arduino board, you need a new 80 Mega 328 IC with bootloader loaded. Bootloaders resides in a special secured location of the programmable flash memory. The microcontroller and usually occupies less than 1 kilobyte of memory. Once the 80 Mega 328 microcontroller is ready with bootloader. Now time to burn new unprogrammed 80 Mega 328 microcontroller. Follow the steps. Now connect the bootloader setup Arduino Uno to PC. Open your Arduino IDE and go to Tools option and select the correct COM port. In my case COM port 8 is connected. And go to Boards type and select the Arduino Uno. But you will use another Arduino modules, like Nano, Mega or any other Arduino modules. Please select the correct board type in your Arduino IDE. In my case I am used Arduino Uno. Then I selected Arduino Uno. And go to Programmer option and select Arduino ISP. Now go to File and click the Examples. And open the Arduino ISP example code. In order to achieve that, you have to upload a special program. Onto your working Arduino Uno board called Arduino ISP. Then click the Upload button. Now the code is successfully uploaded. Now going to the tools. And select programmer and click the Arduino as ISP option. Now your Arduino is ready to burn a new unprogrammed 80 Mega 328 microcontroller. And click the burn bootloader option. It's take a few minutes. Now the new unprogrammed 80 Mega 328 microcontroller is burned. Now this new unprogrammed 80 Mega 328 microcontroller chip is called Program Chip. Ok guys now I am disconnect Arduino Uno to PC. Then I removed all bootloader breadboard connections and components. And this the new program 80 Mega 328 microcontroller chip. Now I going to remove on board 80 Mega 328 microcontroller chip. And I connect our burned 80 Mega 328 microcontroller chip. Then I connect Arduino Uno board to PC. Now you can see I press the reset button. Pin 13 LED is blinking. Now this 80 Mega 328 chip ready to use. Now back to the Arduino IDE and go to the Tools option and select Programmer. Then select the Arduino ISP option. Now going to File and select Examples. Select Digital and click Blink without delay. Now upload Blink without delay code on our new burned 80 Mega 328 chip. And here you can see guys. Our new burn 80 Mega 328 microcontroller working perfectly. Yeah.